The Space Race The Cold War saw a competition between the world's two great powers, the democratic capitalist United States and the communist Soviet Union. Both sides would fight to have the best technology in space, and who could achieve the firsts? As World War II was coming to an end, the Americans and the Soviets captured Germany's rocket engineers and their rocket technology, including V2s. One recruitment of particular value for the Americans was the rocket engineer Werner von Braun, who would lead the US program. The Soviets, meanwhile, would recruit Ukraine-born Sergei Korolev to lead the Soviet space program. In 1955, both countries announced that they would be launching satellites into orbit. The Soviet Russians took the lead by becoming the first to put a successful satellite into orbit when they launched Sputnik 1 on October 4th, 1957. Unfortunately for the Americans, their successful launch of their first satellite, Explorer 1, would come a whole four months later. Next would come another remarkable achievement, and it would go again to the Soviets. The first man in space. In April 1961, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first person to orbit the Earth, traveling in the spacecraft Vostok 1. When he came back to Earth, Gagarin became a hero of the Soviet Union and a celebrity worldwide. The lagging U.S. launched the Freedom 7 three weeks later, and astronaut Alan Shepard became the first American in space. The Americans were embarrassed at being behind the Soviet Union, and on May 25, 1961, President John F. Kennedy made a bold claim to Congress that America would be the first to land a man on the moon, and they would do it before the end of the decade. The Apollo program was launched. Meanwhile, in February 1962, John Glenn became the first American to orbit Earth, and on June 16, 1963, Soviet cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman to travel into space. NASA now had an increase in its budget to achieve its daunting goal of putting America on the moon first and by the end of the decade. As well as the Apollo program, it launched the Gemini program, which would develop the technology needed for the former. Gemini would see the first American, Ed White, to walk in space although the Soviets achieved the first when Alexei Leonov achieved a spacewalk for 12 minutes and 9 seconds a few months before. And Gemini would also see the first docking of two spacecraft together in Earth's orbit. After many test flights, training and experiments, the Apollo 11 spacecraft was launched into space on July 16, 1969. On board were US astronauts Neil Armstrong Edwin Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. It was not smooth sailing. Malfunctions came up, and the lunar module named the Eagle had to be landed manually. On July 20th, 1969, the Eagle had landed on the moon's surface. Neil Armstrong stepped outside, becoming the first man to walk on the moon. He would say those famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. By landing on the moon first, and with Soviet lunar landing attempts failing between 1969 and 1972, America had won the space race. And now that it had been achieved, interest in the lunar missions was dying down. By the 70s, US-Soviet relations improved, and in 1975, a joint program between the two powers, called the Apollo-Soyuz mission, would send three US astronauts aboard an Apollo spacecraft and dock in orbit with the Soviet Soyuz vehicle. The first joint U.S.-Soviet spaceflight and the handshake between the commanders of both crafts symbolized the improvements of U.S.-Soviet relations in the late Cold War. What's your favorite moment in the space race? Leave a comment below. Subscribe to see more history videos. Get your copy of Simple History, The Space Race, out today.